So I'm here at my job site waiting for people to show up. It's 7.30. And I purposely came later because I figured nobody would show up on time. But still no one's here. But I had, still have to wait for my dumpsters to get swept. So my last tour that I gave you of the work we were doing still hasn't been done because there's been elevation issues going on, lots of changes going on, so I still have no concrete port. We poured a ramp that um, the architect doesn't like because he keeps calling it a walkway and it's a ramp and he keeps making this thing, you know, he wants it to be a walkway so everything he wants on this thing is not to ADA code so he's making us rip it out and put it in the way that he wants it we'll see if that flies when the town inspects it but yeah so pretty much nothing's been happening very boring and trying to keep myself busy while I'm here cleaning Peeling that stupid plastic off of stuff. It's kind of boring. It's very boring. So it's actually Thursday. And I get paid on Thursday. My paycheck lasted me about 30 seconds. So I have... Um, tomorrow I'm going to a different job to finish um, punchless items that are going on on that job. So I'll be finishing that. And then... My weekend is, pretty much, I have loads of laundry to do. I gotta wash the comfort I've been using. It's getting cold now. So I have to switch over my comforter. So I have to wash the one I have on my bed, plus clothes. My washing machine broke. So I have to go to the laundromat, which is such a pain in the ass, but it is what it is. I'm getting tires on my car, gotta do my hair, and I think meal prepping this week. I don't think I'm going to do like a bunch of meals per se, but I think I'm going to make desserts because I am in a dessert mood for some reason. I don't know why. I think I'm going to make um, pumpkin bread and I'm going to make rice crispy treats, but with cocoa puffs, so chocolate. Crispy treats, because they're not Rice Krispies, but we're going to do that. Um, I may make Swedish meatballs. I'm not sure. Um, depends how I feel. Definitely going to make bagels. Um, and maybe some overnight no-need bread. It's like it's really like an overnight bread where you just put all the ingredients in the bowl, set it aside, next morning bake it. Or if you do want to make it that same day, you just put all the ingredients together and you add some honey so that the yeast has something to eat. And then you can make it the same day. But I usually like put the ingredients together like on a Friday night. Um, Put it on my counter with a towel over it, and then come Saturday morning, I'll make it. So, I'm probably going to do that. That's, like, super simple to do. The bagels takes a little bit more time, but they're kind of easy to do. I did make them, not last week, the weekend before, and they were delicious. Like, better than you can get at a bagel store. And then today, after work, I have a Walmart order to pick up. And my phone's sliding. So I have a Walmart order to pick up. And I'm wondering to myself, like, last time I went food shopping, it was like $600. And then this time I'm going food shopping, it's like $500. And I'm thinking to myself, my God, I just went shopping two weeks ago. And I looked it up. No, it was exactly a month ago. So this monthly shopping thing is just not working out. And I'm going to get a subscription to Sam's Club so I can go at least once a month and get meats, you know, chicken and stuff like that. Because it's so expensive in the grocery stores, including Walmart. So I'm going to do that too, at least once a month. Get that good. Have my coffee here. 
because um, yeah, I was up at two thirty this morning, and I couldn't go back to sleep. This is what sucks about getting old and in menopause because you can't freaking sleep for stuff. Actually, I should say a postmenopausal because you can't freaking sleep at all. It's terrible. Everything changes. So, yeah. And for some reason, I don't know why, but I've, I know the last job, job I was on, I was averaging almost 11 miles a day just walking around the site all freaking day long. So I did lose quite a few um, pounds doing that. But now I'm at this job and I'm not walking as much as I was. I do try to walk the dog in the morning at like... We usually take a walk like 5.15, 5.30 in the morning. But I'm really not walking the mileage I was walking. And I'm certainly not walking 10,000 steps. But I have cut out a lot of sugar. So, um, I've lost more weight. I don't understand it. Oh, I guess I can't complain. Yeah. But. So my day consists of today, waiting for the side guys to show up whenever they're coming, swapping out my dumpsters, and then trying to find stuff to entertain myself for the rest of the day. Maybe I'll vacuum. It's funny, I do that at, I do that on my job sites. I hate doing that at home, but you know, it gives me something to do. Maybe I'll dust. Maybe I'll do both. I don't know, but <sighs> we shall see what the day brings me and I'll be back um when I start making my desserts and crap whatever you know comes to mind that I feel like making okay so this morning I baked my no need bread um I also made my dough for the bagels and last night, I made um, crispy treats out of cocoa pebbles. So I did that. The, those, nah. I like rice crispy treats better. So now we're going to do cheesy kielbasa bubble up. That's what we're getting ready to do. Okay. So man. We need a package of cream cheese. This is just great value. Cream cheese, nothing fancy. Turn the heat on. I have no idea what that noise is in the background. It's probably my dog doing something. Do they need scissors? It's as usual, packaging does not want to cooperate with me every time I want to open it. I'm going to get this. I'm going to put you on hold. Okay, back at it. Just had to check to see what the hell my dog was doing. Um, Cream cheese. I need a cup of milk. I have two percent here. I did buy uh, heavy cream for some reason. I don't know why, but I guess I'll find out eventually. And then we also need a full bag of cheddar cheese. So I have sharp cheddar cheese here. I'm going to have to stop it all day. Get another thing of cheese, another thing of cream cheese. And I also want to get avocado spinach dip because I like using that in my eggs. I like using it in my pasta. So this 
and we cook it up. Till it all combines. And then this recipe, uh, this recipe I got from Pillsbury, and it says to add a bag of broccoli, cauliflower, and carrot mix, which I don't have. So I'm actually using a can of mixed vegetables that I'm just going to throw in. But I'm going to drain them first. And this is also a great value mixed vegetables. I can't talk. And it has carrots, green beans, peas, corn, lima beans, and salt. So that's what I'm using. And I really like these. And now I'm not a big vegetable. I'm just going to mix this together. And as this is cooking, You're going to take your kabasi or kabasa, which is the correct way to do it. So I just have some Polish kabaska from, kaba, kaba, yeah, kabasa from Polsheria Farms. And I have my little pan here. So all I'm going to do this off. I'm going to move this here. My oven is set to 350. All I'm going to do is just take scissors. I'm just going to chop this in here. This is like super simple and delicious. I mean, if you, if you like this, I'm sure you could use any kind of sausage that you want. Doesn't necessarily have to be kielbasa. And then what you do, you're just going to pour this in. Pour that in your dish. I'm going to put this in the sink. There's nothing worse trying to clean up than congealed cheese. Mix this around. Set this aside. And now we throw out the garbage. I've got to move you around. Jumbo biscuits, again, great value. I'm just going to open these up. Like so. And then you just want to take each biscuit and you're going to cut them into six pieces. Which I'm actually just gonna cut them in four. So you just cut them in six. Plop them in there. I get my spoon out of the way. Now the recipe calls for home-style biscuits. 
obviously I don't have that. So we are doing what we got on hand. And you know what? It's still going to come out good. And this, obviously, as you see, is super simple. Uh, it gets thrown in the oven, so you, do, you don't even have to worry about, you know, these seem to be hot. Because they're going to cook more in the oven. And did I say, I'm not sure if I said this or not, but I got this recipe on the Pillsbury website. Put in 350 degree oven for 35 minutes or sooner or more, depending on your oven. Mine tends to run uh, hot, so I'm going to start mine at 30 minutes and then I'm going to check it. Okay, so here's the kibasa bubble up. So this is finished, just going to let this cool. Then I'll put in some Tupperware, put some in the fridge, put some in the freezer. So that's one down. I think the next thing we're going to make is cream cheese coffee cake. Okay, so I am finished for the day. I'm completely, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. So I made the kabasi bubble up. And... I made also today, which I didn't video, it is the bagels, um, no need bread, broccoli cheddar soup, and also pumpkin bread. So that's what I made today. I did try to make a, it's called a cheesecake crumb cake. Um, not a cheese, a cream cheese crumb cake. That was an epic fail. And when I say epic fail, epic, I threw it out. Two reasons. One, the recipe said to use two cake pans, but I decided to live on the edge and use one. And the other thing is, is that in the middle of baking, I had to run out because I had an appointment I had to get to, so I had to turn the oven off so it didn't cook all the way. So I tossed it because it was gross. I'll try it again another time when I have more time but yeah I'm tired um, it is three o'clock in the afternoon right now and I'm just going to I have potatoes on the stove right now so I'm gonna make mashed potatoes I'm gonna make Salisbury steak for dinner and tonight I'm gonna dye my hair so, that's it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, so I am finished for the day. I'm completely, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. So, I made the kibasi bubble up, and I made also today, which I didn't video, it is... The bagels, um, no need bread, broccoli cheddar soup, and also pumpkin bread. So that's what I made today. I did try to make a, it's called a cheesecake crumb cake. I'm um, not a cheese, a cream cheese crumb cake. That was an epic fail. And when I say epic fail, epic, I threw it out two reasons. One, the recipe said to use two cake pans, but I decided to live on the edge and use one. And the other thing is, is that in the middle of baking, I had to run out because I had an appointment I had to get to, so I had to turn the oven off so it didn't cook all the way. So I tossed it because it was gross. Well, I'll try it again another time when I have more time. But yeah, I'm tired. 
Um, it is 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now, and I'm just going to, I have potatoes on the stove right now, so I'm going to make mashed potatoes, I'm going to make Salisbury steak for dinner, and tonight I'm going to dye my hair. So, that's it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.